Well, Boris Johnson has resigned from his Uxbridge constituency seat and alongside the resignation of Nigel Adams and Nadine Dorries, has now left Sunak to contend with three by-elections in what will be the first uh, electoral test for Rishi since the disastrous local elections. Despite this, all seats are still Conservative held, uh, though with varying majorities from 24,000 to 7,000. And as I say, it'll be the first real test uh, before, also before the next uh, general election next year. And Labour will be keen to put all their resources into it to see if they can overturn all three seats, which I think they probably will. It's important to note, going back to Boris Johnson, that only he has seen the report into whether he misled Parliament. And it's also significant that last year his key allies around him urged him to accept the fact in the findings that he recklessly misled Parliament, not deliberately, but recklessly misled Parliament, and accept consequences that would have been much less serious as to the ones that he faces now. Of course, Mr Johnson's pride would not let him do even that, and that is why he is where he is now. Um, having been sus suspended for, by, uh, from Parliament for 10 days, there's now a by-election after he resigned, after those findings, um, because he accepted the fact that he did recklessly mislead Parliament uh, just later on and with more serious repercussions. Furthermore, as much as Mr Johnson tries to destroy the credibility of the members sitting on the inquiry, it's important to note it is still, a, like the Commons, a Conservative majority sitting on the board, I think at 54%. Also, it was Mr Johnson that actually set it up initially, and early on in its uh, inquiry actually praised its integrity too. And that is ultimately why people like Harriet Harman are considering legal action, as Mr Johnson seeks to destroy the cred credibility of the inquiry, she believes that in turn he is undermining Parliament yet again as well. The final thing to note is that if Boris Johnson was so confident that the inquiry was filled with spurious claims, spurious lies and egregious bias, as he says, why did he not accept it and let it get put to Parliament, which would have been the next step in the inquiry and finding a verdict? He, it, as I say, if he was so confident, why didn't he let it stand a test against Parliament and see what the verdict uh, is that they reach? The next, the next thing is that uh, if a Boris Johnson will be blocked, a Boris Johnson comeback will be blocked by CCHQ. Even just today, Jacob Rees-Mogg um, warned that it would lead to disastrous unintended consequences, as Boris Johnson's allies would ultimately rally around him, not the party in what would be just a year away from a general election where Michael Howard just today has called for them to unite as opposed to split uh, in order to defeat Labour. Finally, uh, Boris Johnson's statement was, his statement itself was hugely destructive for Rishi Sunak as he criticised the manner in which Brexit has been handled, the manner in which the tax system has been handled and the lack of an FTA with the United States of America just after Rishi Sunak had returned from Washington. He also criticised the fact that the 80 seat majority was as good as gone, although failed to note that external factors were the bigger part in handing Johnson this 80 seat majority as opposed to himself, notably Corbyn and the the pledge to get Brexit done in the which allowed the Salisbury Convention allowed this not to be blocked by the Lords. So as I say, Brexit and Jeremy Corbyn were a bigger factor in Johnson's 80 seat majority than I, perhaps he will acknowledge. But ultimately, it's just the same thing with Boris Johnson. He is more content to live with the myth, um, as jo John, Co John Curtis noted yesterday, that now that Boris Johnson has lost the only thing that he had left, which was his electoral credibility, he would rather resign and potentially come back another time. Uh, and again, he seems to shy away from both the verdict and the truth.